So good evening. Like I said, my name is Courtney Harge. I am a program associate in the fiscal sponsorship program uh, with Fractured Atlas. Uh, we appreciate our new and prospective members taking the time out of their busy schedules to learn about our program and services. Members who proactively learn about our fiscal sponsorship policies and procedures have an easier time using our program to raise money. Um, I've checked to see. I hope everybody can hear me. If you have at any point issues uh, with hearing or seeing something, feel free to let me know via the chat box. Um, there will be an opportunity to ask questions at the end of the presentation, but feel free to, to send them as we go. If it's rele relevant, I'll stop and answer. Otherwise, we'll cover them all at the end. Um, as I said, this is being recorded, and so I'll email you a link to this webinar uh, later in the week. You'll be welcome to share it with anybody who you think might benefit from this inf information. So uh, have fun, uh, and uh, I hope you get what you need out of this information tonight. So now let's start with why you're here. Um, likely you've got a great idea to create art, like maybe you're a filmmaker working on a passion project, or you're a choreographer trying to start a new dance company, or perhaps you're a visual artist looking to create a new installation. Or you're an educator who wants to start training the next generation of artists. So either you're trying to create an artistic product or provide an artistic service. But you're not sure how you can pay for it. And arts projects are typically funded in three different ways. You can pay for your artistic expenses yourself. If you were able to create your art entirely out of pocket, likely you wouldn't be here. Uh, so if this describes you, feel free to leave this call at any other time because every other artist in America probably hates your guts. Just kidding. Um, we know that everybody contributes to their art um, and we're happy to help anybody at any point in their fundraising. You can get other people to pay for your art, perhaps by selling your products or services to them or by having them invest in your project and offering them a share of the project profit in exchange. Unless you're a Hollywood film director or a Broadway producer, it's unlikely that you are able to finance your project through sales or for-profit investment relationships alone, however. The last option is you can seek charitable, nonprofit sources of support by soliciting donations from individuals or sponsorships from businesses or grants from foundations. Uh, this model differs from the for-profit scenario in that individuals, businesses, or foundations are supporting your work out of the kindness of their hearts because they believe you or your project or in the impact you're trying to make in your community or on your audience. The large majority of these types of donations in the United States are made to nonprofit entities that have been granted 501c3 status by the IRS. Now you can ask for donations from individuals or, or grants from foundations without having 501c3 status. And it's likely that your closest family members might make a small contribution. And there's certainly some foundations that award grants to individual artists. But if you've done any fundraising before, you likely know that being able to offer individuals tax deductibility in exchange for their contribution can be a major incentive in getting donors to open up their wallets. While there are institutions that award grants and fellowships to individuals or arts collectives, you'll find that many more corporations and foundations will only support organizations that have 501c3 status. Even if you do a little research into the process, you can find that it can be an expensive and time-consuming process. Expensive in that you'll probably want to consult with an attorney to file the appropriate paperwork with your state and with the IRS and time consuming in that it can sometimes take a long time fr from the moment you decide to form an arts organization to the moment where the IRS finally declares that you are a 501c3 organization. Not to mention the fact that forming a 501c3 is not for everybody. Let's say you're just an individual photographer who's trying to fundraise to support your next exhibition. Or you're not 100% sure that you've got a viable idea, like you're a new theater company that wants to see if there's a demand in your community for your project before committing to forming a nonprofit organization. 
or your project isn't exclusively a charitable enterprise. Maybe you're a filmmaker who plans to shop around your project to commercial distributors, but also wants to get donations to start production on your movie. Fractured Atlas and our fiscal sponsorship program is here to help. But before we get much further, I'd like to say that it's nice to meet you all, even in this digital setting. Here is our fiscal sponsorship team. My picture is at the top, because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> to my left is Diane DiVasella. She is our senior program director for fiscal sponsorship. Then we have Teresa Hubbard, who is another program specialist. Next is Nathan Zabidio, also a program specialist. Aisha Jordan. And finally, Amanda Keating. We are also supported by Sabrina Cedeno, our membership and associate. This team of us, we field calls, emails from our 3,700 plus fiscally sponsored projects around the country. So if you decide to become fiscally sponsored by Fractured Atlas, you could be working with any one of us, depending on the nature of your inquiry. Just to give you a little bit about myself, I've been working in fiscal sponsorship uh, for the last almost four years. I'm also a theater producer and director, uh, so I, who, who runs their own 501c3 uh, theater company, which is also fiscally sponsored by Fractured Atlas. Uh, so I not only sit on these webinars and tell you all what to do, I use these tools and have used these tools to further my own artistic practice. Um, one of the great things about Fractured Atlas is that a, a lot of us are practicing artists. So we aren't just giving you theory. We want to give you tools that we are using to make our work and exist as artists in the world. So a bit about Fractured Atlas. We are a nonprofit tech company that works with artists. We create online solutions that help meet artists' business needs so that they can spend more time focusing on what's important creating their art. To that end, our fiscal sponsorship program eliminates an important hurdle to fundraising, forming a 501c3 organization. With fiscal sponsorship, we extend some of the benefits of our 501c3 status so that artists and arts organizations can solicit tax-deductible donations from individuals, corporate sponsorships, and grants from foundations, which would typically only otherwise be available to nonprofits. So this is great if you are an individual artist trying to seek support for your arts practice, a new or small arts organization that wants training wheels period before deciding if you want to pursue your own nonprofit status, a for-profit arts enterprise that wants to seek both investors who plan to share in the profits of your work and nonprofit donors who want to make a tax deductible donation. The mechanism of fiscal sponsorship is that a donor or institution makes their contribution directly to the 501c3 organization. So in our case, donor who wanted to support your work would make a donation on our website or write a check out to Fractured Atlas. We then issue the donor a tax receipt and hold the donation in a fund restricted for your project's use. You then request the funds from us, and we disperse them to you in the form of a grant. Now, I may be biased, but I happen to think that our fiscal sponsorship program is the best in the arts nonprofit sector. That said, we would still encourage you to shop around for fiscal sponsors to find an organization that will be, that will be the best fit for you and your work. Here are a few things for you to be aware of as you shop around. The first is that every fiscal sponsor is going to charge an administrative fee on donations that they process for the purposes of your work. Our fee is 7%. Most sponsors are going to charge somewhere between 5 and 10%. Our fee covers all costs associated with administering your sponsored fund, staff time, our website, bank fees, credit card fees, etc. And our fee is actually tiered, so the more money you raise, the lower the fee goes on check donations. We found that our 7% administrative fee actually represents a discount for newer small arts nonprofits. Unless you have dedicated accounting staff in place or automated systems to help you keep track of your income and expenditures, the cost of maintaining your own 501c3 status with the IRS can eat up more than 7% of your contributed income. 
Another thing to keep in mind when evaluating potential fiscal sponsors is that all of them are going to maintain some level of oversight with regards to how you solicit donations and how donated funds are received. You also want to be clear with your sponsor regarding ownership of the work that you produce while sponsored. With Fractured Atlas, you can maintain ownership over the, over the work, but if you decide to enter a for-profit agreement, like with outside investors or commercial distributors, we want to be kept in the loop and review those arrangements. So when it comes to oversight for your fundraising activities, we want to review and sign off on your written donor solicitation materials. This would include individual appeals, newsletters, e-blasts, web content, anything that mentions Fractured Atlas, fiscal sponsorship, or promises to tax deductibility to your donors. We would also review uh, your crowdfunding campaigns. We want to review as well your grants. Um, our grant review process is a slightly involved process. It is a means for us to make sure that you have the strongest grants possible, um, that you are a proper fit for the funder, and that you um, are, are presenting our relationship in the proper way. Um, once you become fiscally sponsored, you will be able to review our program manual, and that will uh, show you our deep and uh, our deep processes and uh, procedures so that you can fully understand how best to use the program. Um, clarifying question uh, from the floor is, uh, when I say grants, you mean grant applications. And yes, we review all of our grant applications uh, for the projects and uh, letters of inquiry. There are a variety of ways to receive funds through your fiscally sponsored project once approved, check donations, uh, online donations via credit card, and uh, grants as we were talking about. When you receive those funds, they are put into a dedicated fund for your project. And then to release those funds, to receive those funds, you, you would request uh, a fund release. We release funds through electronic funds transfer. So that means we transfer those funds directly to your bank account. We reserve the right to request documentation for any fund release request, but we require it for any fund release request that is $5,000 or greater. Again, once you're approved for fiscal sponsorship, you will have access to our program manual, which will go more in depth into uh, the specifics of each of our policies and procedures. Another bit of our oversight is every year we require an annual report. Um, this is an internal document that lets us know how funds raised through fiscal sponsorship were used in the broader scope of your work. So the annual report allows us to see not only how the funds that you received through us were used, but lets us know what other funds you were using. How did you make your project happen through the year? Um, some projects have years where they've raised funds but haven't spent any funds because their event happens in the next year or because they are, you know, in a, in a rebuilding year where they're planning the next iteration of their work. And that's fine, too. We just want to know what did you do? How did you work in this particular year? And there is still a tax obligation. So all funds released to the project um, are considered grant income. You may not pay taxes on them, but it's up to you and your accountant to properly document and declare those funds. So even though Fractured Atlas is a federally tax exempt organization, you as an individual or even your, your organization may not be. So what that means is you are still liable for the taxes on those funds. We have a question that says, uh, somebody's asking if um, they have a play with performances, can ticket sales be tax deductible? Um, and that is, uh, ticket sales are not tax deductible. Con ticket sales are considered earned income. So you are getting 
$20 worth of performance for your $20 uh, payment. Um, and so therefore it is not tax deductible. And I'm happy to talk a little bit more about that toward the end. So for fiscal sponsorship to start, uh, there is a contract that will happen between yourself and your fiscal sponsor. Um, for F Fractured Atlas specifically, you have to become a paid member of Fractured Atlas at one of our payment levels, either the professional level, which is $10 per month, or the organization level, which is $20 per month. That allows you to have up to three people administering the, um, the membership. Um, we are not an exclusive fiscal sponsor. So if you need a local fix, fiscal sponsor, let's say you're not in New York and um, you're working with a funder who only funds uh, in a particular geographic area, you're welcome to have another fiscal sponsor there. Um, let's say there, uh, there's a particular uh, affiliation group. Uh, sometimes uh, membership groups have grants that they give, but only to fiscal sponsors that are part of their membership. That is also... Um, totally fine with us. You can also find the fiscal sponsorship agreement for your review on our website. You can simply search under programs and services uh, and find fiscal sponsorship so you can see what options are there. And let's talk a little bit more specifically about the steps to get fiscal sponsorship, particularly through us. Again, first become a member of Fractured Atlas at one of our dues paying levels of membership. You are welcome to just go to our website and it's a very easy sign up process. The things that we look for in our application are, is your project artistic in nature? And is there a public benefit? And by public, we allow you to determine who that public is. We just wanna make sure that people have access to this work. We do have some other application questions. We do ask for a rudimentary budget. This is not a weighted part of the application and we are using this just to get a sense of the size and scope of your project. Um, we also wanna know, are outside investors involved? Um, we can work with projects that are working with for-profit investors, but there are a few rules and uh, limitations that we need to see. So we just want to know if that's happening and we'll provide you a bit more information at that point. We also have a few other questions about uh, on the application, uh, some about qualifications. We want to know your, uh, uh, we want you to help set up your public profile that will be available once your product is live but we don't curate. We wanna know what art you wanna make. And if it's art that's important to you, it's important to us. We just need to make sure it is artistic and that there is a public benefit. Once you submit the application, so once you become a member, you submit the application, we review applications monthly. Our deadline is always the last day of the month, every month at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we, um, review them on a rolling basis. And there is no, we review every application received during the month um, uh, at the same time. So give yourself the time that you need and know that if you're you know, trying to rush at this deadline, you can always catch the next one. Um, the board then reviews all of the application and we notify applicants by the 15th of the following month. So. If you were able to get it in uh, for this month by March 31st, you would know by April 15th. And we're getting close to the point where we're gonna open up for questions. Before we do, I uh, wanna talk quickly about some of our other programs and services, because while fiscal sponsorship is one of our strongest programs, it's definitely not the only thing we offer. And we try to be able to help artists um, at any point in their needs. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is Artfully. Artfully is a ticketing and customer relationship management software. Um, it does have some integrations with fiscal sponsorship, but it's, it's mostly used to help you manage people who are spending money with your work. Uh, if you're buying tickets, if they're giving donations, if they are coming to your events, it's an excellent way to be able to manage and see who is 
interacting with your work, with your organization. Next is SpaceFinder. It's an online marketplace that matches renters with venues based on u their unique needs. Um, there is customizable searches for space. There are venues that have synced calendars so you can see uh, what is available. Um, there are venues that let you pay, pay through their listings. Um, and they are available in a variety of spaces with more expanding um, uh, all, all the time. And last but not least is our insurance program. We work with artists to get a variety of arts insurance uh, to make sure that uh, you are protected to do the type of work you do. Um, we have policies specifically for Burning Man. We have uh, policies, directors and offers ins insurance for uh, 501c3 organizations, short-term uh, general liability, long-term general liability, and a few others. Um, so feel free to have a look and see what's happening. So those are some of our programs. Again, now we're going to open up for uh, individual questions, okay? Uh, and so I'm gonna go through, I see we've got a few questions in the queue, so we're gonna start. Um, this person's two questions. So uh, if let's say you already have a donor lined up, but you need some information from Fractured Atlas. One, if you aren't, already fiscally sponsored, you would have to still become a member and complete the application process. Um, if you're working with a particular donor and they need some documentation for us, um, you would have to email support at fracturedatlas.org um, to be able to get that information uh, once you are fiscally sponsored. Um, people can also uh, donate online through, let's say you have a linked uh, crowdfunding campaign through our partnership with Indiegogo, they could donate directly there. But uh, you want to make sure that your fiscal sponsorship is active and uh, that you uh, have, uh, that you know all of the information that you may need from us so that we can properly work with you. Um, the second question is how, what arrangements uh, are need to be made to use Indiegogo as a crowdfunding platform? Um, and again, we want to make sure that you are already fiscally sponsored or, or that you are have submitted your fiscal sponsorship application, that it is approved. Um, and then once you are approved, uh, there are means to link your fiscal sponsorship to an Indiegogo campaign. Uh, we do review those campaigns. Uh, there is a there is a process that happens again once your fiscal sponsorship is active. If you are already running an Indiegogo campaign, let's say it's already live, we would not be able to connect it to fiscal sponsorship uh, retroactively. This question is, uh, can an organization apply for multiple ongoing projects or does it have to be one project only? And that's a good question. Each membership can only have one active fiscal sponsorship. However, the scope of that fiscal sponsorship is really determined by you, by how you submit your application. So let's say you're a producer and you're producing several theater products at a time, you can apply for kind of the scope of your theatrical producing activities. Um, if you're a film producer, same thing. Um, we just want to make sure that these things are artistic and that they aren't discrete projects. Uh, it would be hard to apply as a film producer who was then writing a book about a separate subject that has absolutely nothing to do with your film work. Um, that would probably be two separate projects. And it's really about how you would be able to fundraise and distinguish between these projects. The best way to determine it is to complete your application. And if we have questions or if we feel like it's unclear what your activities are, somebody will reach out to you. We are looking to accept as many projects as possible. Again, if it's an art that's important to you, it's important to us. So we want to make sure that we understand what you're fundraising for. And, and if you feel that these are connected, we are definitely able to listen to that. But we, we will ask clarifying questions. We won't just outright reject a project. Um, 
This question is uh, for a, a project that has already had a full season and they've already sold tickets. Do they have to use Artfully? No, Artfully is just a is a tool that we offer for people who want to kind of keep their ticketing and donations and fiscal sponsorship all in the same place. Um, earned income or tic as, as ticket sales are considered, don't go through fiscal sponsorship. So you are welcome to manage those funds however you wish. Um, Artfully is an option, but it is not the only option. Question, uh, could we provide liability insurance for individual events? Um, yes, that is definitely something that happens. Uh, you would have to go to our insurance page, submit an application, and they would give you a quote. Um, we don't do quotes over the phone, and we, we want to make sure we fully understand the nature of your event before uh, we can commit to insuring it. But yes, we do have uh, liability insurance for individual events. Um, we have a question from somebody who is already a sponsored project. Uh, how do you add other people on the team to be managers of a Rocket Hub campaign? Um, unfortunately, we no longer partner with Rocket Hub. Our only crowdfunding partnership is Indiegogo. Any type of fundraising you would like to do with Rocket Hub, if uh, and and when it comes to managing uh, a crowdfunding um, event on their site, uh, you would have to work with them. Um, the same actually does apply for Indiegogo. We do have an active partnership with Indiegogo, but as far as adding members to the team on Indiegogo, you'd have to do that through the Indiegogo site. Um, the same person is saying that the, the site is asking for a checking account. Um, oh, what that means for this particular person is that this your Indiegogo campaign is currently not connected to Fractured Atlas, what you should do is send an email to support at fracturedatlas.org with the preview link to your Indiegogo campaign, and we can follow up with you from there about making sure the connection is happening. Um, if you would like to add members to your team uh, on Fractured Atlas, you would need to make sure that you are at the organization level of membership. That allows up to three people to be authorized to manage the membership, um, and that is at the higher level of 20, the higher rate of $20 per month. If you have additional questions specifically about your fiscal sponsored project, the best answer I can give you is to email support at fracturedatlas.org, and we can kind of get into the more nitty gritty about what you may need at a particular time. Uh, are living expenses f figured into the initial budgeting? So living expenses are, you can't fundraise through fiscal sponsorship for your rent or for your living expenses. However, you can fundraise for your artist fees and your artist fees can be determined in part by what your living expenses are. It's in the same way that if you had a traditional nine to five job, your, your employer doesn't pay your rent. Your employer pays you, you pay your rent. Um, so when you are considering your budget, you should consider what your living expenses are in determining your fees. Questions, do we provide resources for finding funding? Um, so we do not connect projects to particular funders uh, or uh, to particular opportunities. However, uh, every month we release our fiscal sponsorship newsletter, which does have uh, grant deadlines, has upcoming deadlines. Uh, we strongly suggest researching at the Foundation Center, which is a national resource that so shows um, foundations throughout the country that could fund your work. Um, and for people who are eligible to apply for grants through us, we do offer a grants toolkit. The toolkit, um, basically walks you through uh, best practices in grant writing and in grant research and does provide a list of grants that you may be eligible for. Um, but that is uh, for currently sponsored projects who have uh, who are eligible to apply for grants through us. Is there an additional charge to use artfully is the next question. Um, and it depends uh, on what you're using Artfully for. If you're using free, using it for free event ticketing, there is no charge. If you're using it in connection with your fiscal sponsorship, um, the same any donations received through there, the uh, are subject to the same seven percent fee as if they were just going through your fiscal sponsorship page. They're processed exactly the same way, so it's not an additional fee. Um, there are fees on paid ticket sales, which you can find directly uh, either through our knowledge base on fracturedatlas.org or through the Artfully site. 
here's a question. Um, uh, a contractor I, uh, that this person uses needs proof of fiscal sponsorship by a 501c3. We do uh, offer proof uh, of fiscal sponsorship. We also have a fiscal sponsorship letter, um, but we need to know exactly who needs it. So the best way to do that is if you are currently fiscally sponsored, please email support at fracturedatlas.org with the name of the vendor and the reason that they would like uh, and uh, the, the proof of uh fiscal sponsorship and any documentation they require, and then someone will get back to you directly. Does Fractured Atlas have to approve all promotional materials, uh, for example, flyers, group websites, uh, thank you letters? Yes. The answer is we do need to approve any material that mentions donations, Fractured Atlas, fiscal sponsorship, tax deductibility, anything like that, we do have to approve it. So the best way to do that is to send it, uh, and it has to be approved before you submit it. Um, so you need to send it to frac support at fracturedatlas.org, um, and then we can review uh, and approve as needed. Uh, this question is, does Fractured Atlas help with grant writing or is that up to the artist? Uh, and then we will, Fractured Atlas will review it and that is correct. Fractured Atlas does not grant write for you. We do not help with grant writing. We will offer feedback. We will review it. We will give you guidelines um, around ways to strengthen your proposal. But the, the elbow grease of fundraising and grant writing is really up to you. Uh, and that's because nobody knows your project and your work better than you do. You are the only expert on you. So what we can do is provide you with best, pack, best practices and tools, but we cannot tell you how to talk about your work. Uh, so we will do whatever we can to best support you in that. But again, we'll not, um, uh, we'll not do the writing for you. Uh, here's a question. So we already we have a project who has already been approved and has a donor who is interested in donating funds uh, in support of the project. The only way that that individual can get a tax deductible receipt is for the funds to be processed through Fractured Atlas. People are welcome to give you money directly, but that money is not tax deductible. It is considered income directly to you, um, and uh, we will not acknowledge it. You can't. They can't give it to you and then you give it to us for processing or you tell us that that's how you received it. It has to go through one of our channels, either a check payable to Fractured Atlas or uh, an online donation through one of our online channels. Um, if you have questions about that, again, you can review the program manual or you can email us directly at support at fracturedatlas.org. All right, I believe I have gotten through all of your questions up to this point. Uh, Again, uh, I'm happy to answer whatever else you may need. Um, is there anything else anyone uh, would like me to answer while I'm on the webinar? All righty. Um, we have more than a few webinars in this series. Um, this is Introduction to Official Sponsorship, but we also have um, a more in-depth look at our policies and procedures for uh, newly accepted projects, that is our orientation. We have individual donors. We talk about proposals and grants for fiscally sponsored projects. Um, and you can see all of the rest through here. Um, again, as I've said before, you can email support at fracturedatlas.org for all of your questions. Um, and we're happy to, to help them. And uh, thank you all very much for being proactive and, and wanting to learn more about our program and wanting to connect with Fractured Atlas and fiscal sponsorship. Since there are no further questions, I really appreciate your time. Um, you all should have a great night, okay?